This is the new pan tilt head. It has an enclosed channel for wiring. Wires can enter the base here where it's attached to the tripod or crane or whatever. wires come up through the bearing and through channels in that cap and go down into this part of the housing. Here you can see the wires come out inside that hollow extrusion and go up into the non-driven pan tower. Here are the two holes where the wires come out and can pass through the bearing. After passing through the bearing, they can go up and into this wiring elbow. And then there's another elbow that takes the wires out behind the camera. So when you roll the camera, the wires twist instead of wrapping around. Stepper motors run it, and the drive is a two-stage belt drive. This is the first stage here. Motor pulley, give some reduction there. This is the belt tensioner. There's a wheel on an eccentric and you move it, move this to tension the belt and then tighten a nut on the end of that to prevent it from moving. This is the second stage of the belt drive. This second stage pulley is an integral piece with this pulley. And then it outputs to this large diameter pulley here. And again, there's large diameter bearings. This is the drive for the roll. Stepper motor, pinion pulley, and a big pulley on the roll bearings. This belt is tensioned by sliding the motor over and then tightening the screws that hold it.
there are 80-20 extrusions which allow the camera to be raised up or down to fit different size cameras to keep the lens in the center of the roll. And the drive for the pan is essentially the same as the one for the tilt. Same belt tensioner, same, same two-stage drive, and the large diameter bearings, which allow the wires to pass up through here and into the cap. And here you can see, if I make this part transparent, you can see the channels inside where the wires come up and go into there. The two square extrusions at either side at the bottom that connect the pan housing to the two tilt housings can be exchanged for rectangular ones in order to raise the tilt and the roll part of the head up higher so that larger longer cameras can be tilted all the way around and over the top without the back of the camera bumping into the pan housing. Or it can be like is shown here with square extrusions for smaller cameras that gives the head a lower center of gravity and makes the head more compact.